Hello YouTubes, here I am again with a little tips and tricks slash tutorial video. In this video I'm gonna show you how you can play a realistically delayed sound in Unity. So let's take a look at it. If you're new to my channel, I'm building this untitled fireworks game where you can play around with fireworks and have fun. If you want to follow this journey, please hit the subscribe button and if you like this video, please leave a like. Let's get started. In the early day of the development of this game, one of the first actual feedbacks I got was that the graphics or the effect of the exp explosion didn't fit with the sound. So the sound were played exactly when the when the flash went off. And that's of course not realistic and it's something that you don't right away notice, but you notice like like it's well something is off here so i created um, a little script that i will show you in a moment that adds a realistically um, delay to a sound for instance on these batteries so if you pay attention now i try to walk as far away as i can here because you also in real life you kind of need to be kind of far away before you can actually see it so i'll try and shut up and then we'll take a look here where you should actually see that the flashes and the sound have this kind of realistic delay and i'll show you afterwards how i did it So, did you notice there was a little tiny, tiny, tiny delay? Um, we can maybe try with another one, just for the fun of it. So it's very, very little, but, but that's how it is in real life, you know. Uh, sound actually travels pretty fast. So um, let's take a look at this uh, battery for instance here. I have this script I've called Fireworks Particle Sound System. Actually, I can link in the video here to the, uh, an earlier version of this script that I actually did the video about how to play a sound on a particle system. But that part is not the interesting one right now. The interesting part is this one, because here it calculates which sound to play. You can see the other video for, for details about that. The important part is this new one here, because what happens is actually pretty simple. But, uh, but I didn't find anything online to actually uh, help me with that, so I, I figured out and, and yeah, again, no big deal. Now I show you here. Of course, sound travels with a certain speed and through air it travels with 343 meters per second. So you can look that up on Wikipedia. I didn't know that, but I know now. What I do is that I take the position um, where the current sound is, meaning the battery in this sample, and then I calculate the distance to the player position. And then I divide that with the, with the speed here, so I have the sound delay here in milliseconds. And then I can simply just, uh, no, so not in milliseconds, sorry, in seconds. And then I can use this uh, sound delay later on to play the sound and then just in a coroutine wait for seconds sounds uh, delay in seconds and thereby it will be delayed like 0.2 or uh, whatever seconds um so it is it's a it's a very very short uh, short uh, delay but it, it gives this effect of uh, of realism delayed sound you know when you watch some fireworks in real life so that's basically it just calculate the distance divided by 343 and then play the sound with that small delay. Very simple, but it actually have a slightly little effect, but a big effect in the actual experience uh, of the sound. Might be hard to see in video, but when you are playing the game and you have the sound and headphones on and it's turned up loud, it's actually pretty cool. So that's it for now. Just a little quick video showing you this. Hope somebody can use this and it helps somebody. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If you want to follow the journey of this fireworks game, please hit the subscribe button. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.